Mayor Ron Anders with the Mayor's Minutes from our June 21st Auburn City Council meeting. Last night the City Council be began during the Committee of the Whole by taking up the um, determination of who will represent Ward 4 now that Councilman Brett Smith has moved from Auburn. And the City Council last night appointed Jennifer Stevens to take the place of Brett Smith and she will begin to represent Ward 4 soon. Uh, we appreciate Jennifer's willingness to serve the City of Auburn. She'll represent Ward 4 for the last four months of this term in the first week of November. Jennifer is a long-standing resident of Auburn. She has spent most of her life here in our community and has lived in Ward 4 for 28 years. She has been an accountant and a finance uh, professional in Auburn's Advancement and um, Alumni Affairs Association for over 20 years. And she does not plan on running for the Ward 4 seat this summer. So thank you, Jennifer, for being willing to serve our community. And we look forward to working with you over the last quarter, last four months of this, uh, of this term. Also, I want to thank the four individuals that uh, applied for this position, and I thank all of them for their willingness to try to serve and attempt to serve the community in this very unusual manner. Thank all of you for your willingness to do that. In our agenda last night, uh, during the City Manager's communications, we had one board announcement. We've got two vacancies for the Green Space Advisory Board. Those, um, those positions will begin serving on August the 8th of this year, and those are four-year terms, so they'll go through 2026. City Council will make an appointment on June the 19th. If you're interested in the Green Space Advisory Board, I encourage you to go to the city's website and uh, see what Green Space Advisory Board does and how often they meet. And if you feel like that's a good fit for you and you're interested in Green Space, certainly fill out an application and we will consider your application on June the 19th. In the consent agenda last night, the City Council approved an alcohol beverage license for a new restaurant on South College, Panko Chicken. This is located at 2111 South College Street, Suite C. Under contracts and agreements, City Council approved uh, an agreement last night for reimbursement. This is related to the borrowing that will happen occur soon for the Will Beekner Parkway, the Public Works and Environmental Services Complex, and the additions to our soccer complex. This basically allows the city to spend money on projects that we will soon borrow for, and then once we receive the proceeds from that borrowing, we will re, uh, reimburse the city. City Council also approved the contracts with the Auburn Game Day Law Enforcement Corporation these are the agreements that the public safety professionals here at Auburn and our leadership here at Auburn oversees that allows us to protect all of you that uh, come to the city uh, on football game weekends and game days, as well as other large events that occur on campus. Obviously, there are many other professionals, uh, public safety professionals from other areas that come to Auburn and help us uh, because of the size of the crowds. And so this is just a working agreement that we have with the athletic department and the university uh, to fulfill all those obligations. The City Council approved two contracts with Barge Design Solutions. Uh, these are consulting contracts that will be taking a look at the Auburn University sewer sub-basin as well as the North Auburn uh, sewer system. City Council approved a purchase from the Smith Station Fire and Rescue Authority for one Super Warrior Rescue Truck. This will allow our fire department to enhance their advanced life support and supplement the great EMS services we receive from East Alabama Health. This is certainly allows our fire department to have extra capacity to be on site and to provide uh, more services for those in need here in our community. And the City Council approved a contract with South Dade Air Conditioning and Refrigeration. Um, that name might fool you, but South Dade Air, Air Conditioning and Refrigeration also builds sidewalks. And this is actually a Richmond Road sidewalk project. This is $250,000. This will extend a sidewalk from the east side of Sugar Parkway down Richland Road all the way to Martin Luther King Drive. Under ordinances last night, the City Council denied an annexation of approximately almost one acre at 2682 Lee Road 47. Um, this was basically done because this was outside the optimal boundary. The City Council did approve a, uh, an annexation of 250 Lee Road 8, this is Cotton Valley Lane, of approximately four acres. The City Council did approve the amended biannual budget, which uh, began the fiscal year of October 1, 2021 and ends September 30th, 2022. This just true ups all of our uh, revenues and expenses for this year. So at October 1, we start off with a realistic number and we understand exactly where we are. If you have any questions on that, don't hesitate to call your City Council representative or certainly call my office or the City Manager. The City Council and myself in particular denied unanimous consent on our 2023 and 2024 biennial budget. Um, last week we had the budget pre presented to us by the staff. Uh, what an outstanding job each of our department heads did and our city manager. Um, very grateful for all of their hard work. Our finance team has spent long hours and our budget team long hours on this. 
Simply, I felt like it was in the best interest of the community to allow the city council more time to go through the budget and for you, our citizens, to have more time to look at our budget. And so we'll take this back up on July the 5th, and I certainly hope and expect the city council to work through approving the budget on July the 5th. The city council approved three stop signs and one 25 mile per hour sign in the Chapel Heights subdivision. Under resolutions last night, the city council approved a conditional use for Hydro Engineering Solutions on behalf of Greystone Auburn. This is for a new bank at 1600 East Sanford Avenue. There was a project at the southwest corner of Shelter Mill Road and U.S. Highway 280, which is a Circle K gas, gas station, a convenience store, and the developer asked us to postpone the determination, the conditional use decision on this project uh, last night. Uh, they had some professionals, in particular their engineer, that was not able to be in town to answer questions, so they asked us to postpone this until July the 5th. And then the City Council approved a conditional use for the Rusty Barrel Package Store, which will be located at 200 West Glen Avenue. Under Mayor's announcements, I want to thank everybody that helped and assisted, volunteered, made donations, um, cooked, spoke. There was a lot of people that participated in our annual Juneteenth celebration, which occurred last Saturday at Martin Luther King Park. It was a hot day, but there was a lot of smiling faces, and I appreciate uh, Ms. Connie Taylor's leadership on this and her enthusiasm for this event, and just thank everybody that helped make this a great day in Auburn. And certainly I want to thank uh, all the people who participated in our budget. I mentioned that earlier, but our staff did just a fantastic job, and I'm just very proud to work with each of those professionals as they prepare um, all the decisions that we have to make uh, to spend the taxpayers' money in the best way possible. And before we get together again, we'll be July the 4th, and we'll remind everyone that the city will have an annual, its annual July the 4th fireworks, weather permitting, uh, the night of Monday, July the 4th. And uh, we encourage everybody to come and join us that night. And if you're not going to be with us, please be safe in your travels on July the 4th. This is Mayor Ron Andrews with the Mayor's Minutes. Have a great week.